MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Bill, Enapac, a global manufacturer, what do you actually make here? Well, we make hydraulic torque wrenches and tensioners. We um, subcontract most of the work out, but we do the, the key high integrity components in house. We assemble, fit, pack, and deliver to the customers worldwide. Okay, and you use Haas machine incentives yes, here? Haas machine incentives primarily, and um, everything gets manufactured in house on them. And I'm excited to be here because I know you've got a new Haas 5 axis machine, so without further ado, let's go and have a look. Yeah, come on, come inside. So we're going to start here at the new machine. This is a VF3YT 5 axis. Why did you go for this machine? Well, it was quicker rapid times and uh, we, we can process more quickly and program it easier and we can get a better finishes on the surfaces. So did you have another 5 axis machine before you had this? Yes, um, it was quite old, 15 years old and it was getting near the end of its life and we need to look elsewhere and Haas has been so good to us, we decided to go for a new Haas machine. I mean, I know the answer, I think I know the answer, or I hope I know the answer to this, but what is the type of difference that you get from this machine compared to the older machine in terms of production, cycle times? Well, we, we've reduced the cycle time by at least a third on this component, and we get a much better finish on it and uh, more accuracy. You, so you reduced by a third just going from an older 5-axis machine to this 5-axis? Yes, we took the opportunity to put some new processes in, but we managed to speed things up. The rapids and the feeds are much, much faster. Spindle speeds are a lot faster. And we managed to bring the cycle time down considerably. I mean, and you're not machining what I would class as, uh, well, two things. Firstly, a simple component. It's not simple. But secondly, what you're machining this out of is pretty tough or pretty hard as well. Yes, it's an EN26W, and it's quite a tough, tough material to cut. We managed no problem on the old machine, but now we can use different cutting techniques with the new Haas machine. And what about the programming side of things? With this being a five axis, has much changed since the older version? Yes, quite a bit has changed on this new machine. It took a bit to get our heads around it, but you know, Haas led us through, trained us, and we managed to achieve what we wanted. So how long have you had the machine now? We got it on Christmas Eve and last year. Oh, a Christmas present for you yeah, then? Yeah, a big Christmas present. So I've been playing with this toy ever since. Brilliant. Well, let's go and have a look. I'd also want to see, obviously this is what we class as almost a finished component here yeah. in the machine. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting to look at the process from start to finish. Yeah, so let's go and have a look at the forging. OK. Yeah, we will do. So here we've got what we class as the start of the process and the finish of the process. So we start with the forging. Can you talk me through, well, talk me through the process? Yeah, well, we, we take the, the, the original forging and we do a little process on a manual lathe to um, do a prep for the, the CNC lathe. Then it goes into the CNC lathe and we, we do the turning end and the internals. And that, after that process, we put it onto the Haas machine, fourth axis, and do some pre-manufacturing on there before it goes onto our new Haas machine, where we do the final cutting components. So the, the, the finishing is done on the five axis that, yes. we're, that yes. we've just seen? Yes, the finish. The, the way you see this product now is finished on the new new Haas. Big question for you, what actually is it? It's a, this is the latest version of the 11,000S series, it's an S11,000X. It's uh, been on the market for about a year now. It's a hydraulic torque wrench body. So all the internals fit inside here, the crank and then the, the, uh, um, the square drive fits in here. And this is the, this is the basic cylinder that um, torques the nuts. Okay, so when we talked earlier outside about you saying that you subcontract parts out, they would be for components that fit around this? Yes, um, there's some minor components get subcontracted out that fit inside here. We've got good suppliers. And you do bigger and smaller? Yes, this is the second largest. We do a, a one bigger than this, and then we go down to really small ones. So this is where it all comes together then, this is where you do all the testing or pre-delivery testing? Yeah, the assembly and testing and we also calibrate the wrenches. In the testing side, we're operating up to 12,000 PSI, so we've got to think about safety and we've got 
cabinets that everything goes into and it's all in fully enclosed. And I suppose because of the Hass machines you don't get many problems on, uh, on testing here? No, we don't get any problems at all really. Um, everything goes nice and sweet and then it goes in a, a nice shiny box to the customer. Brilliant. It's been a really uh, good and enjoyable visit today, Bill. I think you've got a very streamlined process and I wish you luck with uh, your existing Hass machines and your new one. Yeah, thanks very much for that. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.